Even chaps and trapettes, Roger here, and yeah, I know I think this is a bit weird, I'm literally doing this because if you follow me on Twitter, uh, the lecky was off for a bit, I'm about to do, oh come on, focus, focus, there we are, because I'm about to do some uh, more editing now the lecky's back on, but I decided to do this because, well, why the fuck not, that's pretty much the channel in a nutshell, more than anything else. Yes, the whole sort of weird apartment tour thing is supposed to be when you have shitloads of people who actually give a damn, but uh, yeah, like I've said many, many times before, I've accepted that it's never going to happen, so you know what? Fuck it. So yeah, let's have a quick swoop round of the little apartment that I've got. Yep, it's about the size of most Americans' bathrooms. Welcome to Britain. All right, let's have a little shifty. I'm not planning, not planning this at all whatsoever. Hooray for modern appliances. Oh yeah, uh, boring. Let's get the boring stuff out of the way. So stuff where I keep my bikes because hell of a lot cheaper than getting a car to work for all of maybe freaking hour a D. But I drove. Aha, HTC Vive. Sadly, not getting out much purely because it is a real ass to set up, and I can only do it when there's like no one around and about. So you know deal with it I guess more than anything else oh yeah loads of people have got these and of course my ones never bloody worked either uh, my first ever PlayStation the one which uh, kind of infamously turned into a bit of a manky toaster but you know what I just don't want to throw it away and it's kind of knackered more than anything else ah. these bizarrely these are the stands for the back black drop you see in the video which is currently in this little wrapped up bag here it's a nice little fold puppet so Scene as well. That's the little boom stand I use for when I'm doing the the console stuff over by the couch, which we shall badly swoop over to now. If you're not feeling sick, I am already. Yep, there's the couch. Many, many, many asses sitting on that. Let's have a. Ooh, there we go. Ah, ugh, that was that's a bit weird. I always forget you can see in the black screens. So this is normally where the this camcorder normally sits. That's for recording here, sort of this way catch my glorious mug. The else, good old PS3, uh, it's the, fi the old 500 gigabyte version. Bizarrely, now that I know that they've stopped manufacturing these, I tried to pick up another one, even just like an old crappy version. One of the else, these are going for like nearly the same price as a PS4 used, more than anything else. In case you can hear that, that's midnight shouting to be let, let in. Unfortunately, I'll deal with her in a second. Couple of new additions to the collection there. This is not my entire PS3 stuff that I've got. But mainly what I've got down here is the things which I think may make some good footage. Oh, PS2. Oh, if only I could get the freaking Elgato HD. This little bugger to make it so that the light isn't so freaking dark with the pickouts. And you know, television is television. Whoopty feck. All right, midnight. What do you freaking want, sweetheart? Do you want to be on camera? Is that what you want? Is that what you want, sweetheart? Yeah, meow to you too. So we'll get to the LP stuff in a second. This is by far and away the thing I like the most about my little apartment, despite the fact it's kind, kind of sort of mine. Complicated, you don't care. It's my PS1 collection. God, I've got so... I've been basically that swooshing. I've been collecting these for so long. Yeah, the weird little... These ones, that's when I first tried to, tried to start categorising when I was a kid. What I had played, what I hadn't played, so on and uh, so forth. Let's do that column as well. So yeah, games upon games upon games upon games. Oh, a couple which I haven't been able to get the proper... There we are, that's better. We haven't been able to get the freaking proper because because like for example like even something relatively common like let's say let's say this faith faith black ps1 did it get like a good copy like this you know it's got the has it got the manual i think it does yeah got the manual the disc is in good condition it's got the inserts all the back it's not randomly in german or french or something it's actually pretty pretty hard to grab doodly do 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 looking at all of the okay that'll be a mystery pointless shit and so forth random USB extension cable because that means I can just leave the leave the camcorder here and just use that extension cord to hook it all up to the PC which is where we should be going now. Okay round is it so I've got a couple of lights here I think they're newer not 100% sure these are like relatively cheapy cheapy ones that I've just got on sort of that some older stands or anything else. Most importantly booze mug 
Not entirely certain whose skull whose skull bones those are, but you know they're clearly small. Right. Okay. So under my little Mario T cozy, that's the mic I use. It's an AT twenty twenty, which is she, she's all right. She does a hell of a lot better than the old uh, blue snowball I used to have. But it's a case of like I'm looking at upgrading. Maybe it's like a Rode. NG212 I think they are, pop filter, you, you can make these yourself out of socks, not anything else. Good old standard uh, articulated boom arm, okay, and it's reason I've got, the reason this, this version, you can get a USB version of the 802020 which is like quite expensive. The reason I've got this version is like the 70 quid version, because it's SLR, which in other words means it has this connector, because it means you can put it into this, this is my, um, oh, my focus right the scarlet solar this is but this is the sort of stuff which is designed mainly for musicians and whatnot which is why it's like it's got manual knobs and whatnot putting a the guitar there even though I can't play guitar whoop de doodly do like I said the important thing is because it's USB around the back it means I can grab any SLR mic which are nearly always better quality than USB and just plug it straight in one thing else okay right okay three uh, okay three three monitor setup or anything else and I have actually got two PCs down below I'll show you in just a second but actually what I've got is I've got one PC linked up to these two and the first and the primary PC is linked up to these two as well so this is actually shared because these are all the same monitor but what happens is that they've got uh, HDMI and DVI at the back so like HDMI DVI of uh, HDMI of first PC DVI of first PC HDMI of second PC DVI of second PC. You see what I mean? So technically I've got three monitors to set up, but I've got uh, two PCs with dual monitors. Yeah, I don't understand either. Good old Logitech uh, 920, I think this is the way I can. So when I'm playing PC games, this is what you're looking at me through. You unfortunate sods. <laughs> and here's the, here's the gang. Little roll no evil, call no evil, don't be a bastard to the DM. <laughs> yeah, you, you really do find some random shit in your loft. I've no idea where the hell these guys came from. Couple of random Bluetooth speakers, not 100%. <laughs> the little notepad, which I've been using for my all Minecraft stuff. The hat, which I actually got to use out primarily because of hanging around the back on like a little banana stand. Just a cheapy pair of Samsung headphones, nothing to write home about. But unless you get like ones which like have some like soft soft stuff here it's actually really uncomfortable to wear for ages unless you have a hat or i think in quite an old video a couple of old videos i had this knocking around so it does help book of nuclear launch codes not sure why there's a random mini drone there i've literally no cocking idea one anything uh, uh, okay all right fine okay my masters are calling me yep uh, just as fucking creepy in the dark as they are in the light, and that's a something called outside. I don't like it very much. <laughs> There's the original Scully, me first one. Actually, an airsoft mask. Cause it's actually quite hard to find masks which are like I'm trying not to show outside too much. To find a mask which have like the mouth part free. More than anything else. But obviously, it's an airsoft mask, so it makes no sense out of it. So I've got the yeah, couple of gaming, couple of me gaming hats. I mean, if I. So yeah, so this, <laughs> that's the one I that's the one I like the most, which is why it's sort of starting to turn up a bit more. And these two, I mainly get that one because I prefer blue, because that was supposed to be red, but apparently in China, red means purple. No idea. But basically, those two are like nice and comfortable to wear with Le Hatton. So that's why those two. That's why with these, it's normally just like I just like hook like in this little gap the freaking headphones. That's the word I'm thinking of. Part my fat ass down. Okay, this is actually the older PC that I've got. Bo actually, both of them are made by a uh, Mod Focus. Yeah, this company, PC Specialist. I do recommend them. They're not the cheapest by any means, but I've never had any problems with them. If you're going to spending a hell of a lot of money on a rig, that's it. This isn't my primary rig. This is in fact my older computer, which I use for editing at the moment. So it's a case of it. She's tw she's 2013, so she's quite old by rig standards. You know, she does, she gets stuff done. This is the water cool one that I was playing with the initial Outlast series. I don't know when this is going to go up if the second series is in play or whatever. But it's like she is water cooled, and that sort of got a bit clogged, which is why which is why the Outlast like the webcams all weird and whatnot. That's it's a little bit annoying. Hopefully, the second one is or will redeem itself. But yeah, I I honestly can't remember what the hell's inside her. But it's um, you know she does the job. On up there. 
at the top. There's a bunch of Samsung one or two terabyte hard external hard drives. Yeah, because as I found out in my research for initially starting to do Let's Plays, you want to have the the get the recording the footage to be going to a hard drive other than the one that's running the game because it really really does help. And you can either have a uh, shitloads of hard drives inside the machine, or you can just you know have a bunch of these sticking into USB ports we aren't using. You know, and uh, one of these is expensive and faffing around, the other is not. Now here's the star of the show, this is my gaming rig. Big fat mini fridge looking one because um, it was the Jack Jacksepticeye's version of this <laughs> terrible, terrible version of this little walk around video. Oh god, I need to give you a dust done, I love. Oh god, yes I do. Oh, you're looking terrible on camera. Now because of this, the uh, Corsair case, because it basically allows more airflow. It's all fancy, but I'm... Not 100% on what's inside, I think it's like a, yeah, it's a bloody great, where is it? I suppose I could look inside, but it's, I need to give that clean, so I won't do that. Didn't really want the inside, I don't really care what it looks like inside, I just want the stuff to work. But I think it's a, it's an I, it's an Intel i7, I think it's a, is it a 6 core or an 8 core? I can't remember to be really honest, but this was like the top of the range, like this was two grand's worth of rig back in like uh, October, November? 2016 so you know pretty good I think it's a GT either 1060 1040 one of the 10 dot, 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 dot. so she's so she yeah she's pretty damn pretty damn good as far as I'm concerned yeah a couple of controllers just for that yeah and I think it's like is it five terabyte storage or something like that either way and it's a it's 16 or 32 RAM. I think it's 32 rams I'm not sure where all the wool's sticking out though toilet in there shit happens more of this Ootsid stuff, which I don't recommend. The graphics are good, but the gameplay is bloody terrible and monotonous. Every day, and my sweetheart, are using my tiny little view? Yes, you are. Using my sweetheart. You want me to bug her off, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh, no, you don't. You love it. You love it. Yeah, and that's where the magic happens. Known as sleep. As you may have seen in like, the PS3 rack we are just looking at, I did have Rocksmith 2014 because I did want to... Yeah, always wanted to learn the guitar. I just simply never had the time, and it's a case of like want rather than love. And you need like two hours of practice a day for like twenty years before you're any good. Random extra storage. Have no idea why I put it in the waste paper basket. Now this bit is messy as crap. So we've got a DS bunch of PSP games. You know this is like uh, because like basically the I suppose you could say sort of hereish. Is this is this is where the Wi-Fi from my router stops more than anything else? So basically, because I get terrible Wi-Fi when I'm actually on the crapper, I still actually have some use for some offline gaming. God, it's mucky in here, but we got some DSs. Oh, I do want me these spare collar is there? God, and just because you can't sell them, I've got a bunch of old PC games in there, but they're on Steam. That's the important thing. Yeah, for some reason, when I bought a job lot of PS2 games, the guy sent me his old PS2 as well because he just said he just wanted to get rid of it. More than anything else, which did explain why the hell why there was a bloody great big uh, amount of uh, postage and packing. Uh, okay, I don't have my PS2 stuff on display purely because there's literally no room, but nope. <laughs> Let's have a look see. <laughs> Do 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 do. Oh yeah, action replay. Go for like maybe from like ninety eight to about like maybe two thousand five, two thousand four, give or take. I didn't play a single game without freaking cheat codes on. I've got a lot of redemption to make up. Midnight, you look after the good people for a second. Thank you, my little co-host. Now in here is where the rest of the PS2 stuff is. Oh, uh, you can see what I mean. I need to like literally have like maybe like that wall covered in like a massive display unit or something because Gorm Bennett. Right, this is going to probably be a time lapse. Thank you. 
Right, okay, so time lapse of all my PS2 stuff. Are you helping, sweetheart? <laughs> oh, you telling yourself. Oh, okay, that, okay. Again, replacement PS1, because there are a few games which, like, the emulators in the PS2 and PS3 don't run. And also, the simple fact that because there's not an emulator on the PS3 or PS4 for PS2 discs, that's why, although I've got more of them, I have fonder memories of the PS1, because, you know, I was a kid. Suppose this was more sort of like my teenage years. Well, that and the other stuff, of course. Do have an old GameCube as well. There's a few other bits more. Okay, N64. Dead fat PS3. I did try to fix that with the old hairdryer trick. God, I forgot I had a Game Boy. I mean, Game Boy Color, of course, because bloody hours 10 when Pokemon first turned up, so of course I had to have one of those for Christmas. A few N64 games buried in here somewhere. So obviously we've got like, Zelda, Mario. Oh god, some other ones buried way down there on second. There you are, so that's what I've got. I know I've got Conker's Bad Third Day as well, but I know I've got that set somewhere secure because the PAL version of that goes for like 50, 60 quid, so I'm keeping that well and secure. Yeah, yeah, so got so yeah, so not much, you know, I was I was never a Nintendo kid, I was always a son of the station. So yes, a golden eye, pilot wings, Zelda, Mario. Pretty certain whatever the hell these ones, because I don't have any memories of these whatsoever. Pretty certain those came with the N64 when I bought it, because <laughs> it was a case of like, like PS, PS, PS1, nearly brand new when I, I remember getting it. So that I got it like 95, 96. That must have been like quite a few, a couple of a few hundred quid knocking around. Ditto for the PS. Ditto for PS2 as well. PS, uh, PS3 was the first console, uh, no, actually no, actually no, this N64 was the first console I bought for myself because that was like 20 quid with games when I got it. Ditto with the GameCube as well, which has still got some <laughs> sticks on the back. So uh, PS3 is probably the first uh, console I bought brand, brand new, but that was a good two, three years after it came out and actually when it got down to be an affordable price. So that's, that's bricked down there, but you know, I just, it's not causing any harm, I'm going to keep it there. So, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, fun for fun for fun. So yeah, that's random, random little apartment tour and let's playing stuff. So you know, take what you want from that. Bye guys.